Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Peanut Productions, where we are in another of our Random Thursdays. Normally I would do some sort of joke or random skit this week, but I kind of procrastinated here and forgot to record one today, so I'm sorry for this being up so late. Either way, once again, sorry if you can hear my computer or anything in the background. So, this week, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. It's our third movie in our lineup and I want to talk about a few of the tricks we're using. And it's this icon, in case you're curious about the new banner. Either way, let's talk about this frame. This frame is a special frame, because it took quite a lot to get it. So, let's take that layer. Because the layer was spooky. That's the layer you'd think of. And then, remember that I have to use a green screen for that. So, let's use this as our example of needing a green screen attach it there and then because it has a green screen not only does it need its lighting separate to not mess with the green screen it also needs to have a layer below it to green screen into and then that layer needs its own lighting especially with the static over top and if that layer needs its own green screen then it definitely needs to have its lighting separate and then the rain behind it and the black at the back Seven total layers. It's a lot, but it makes the shot worth it, right? So, essentially, this is going to be a much shorter video than normal. Well, normal in quotations. But I have a few personal goals of the Spooky Movie. And the main one is limit the amount of frames. Because it saves on load time when I have to add more, when I have to animate more and it prevents me needing to make a slideshow for every act, like I have to do with Freddy's. And I also want to try using more effects to actually move stuff around more instead of having the admittedly somewhat lazy but still stylized animatic, which is pretty much all that will ever stay, because as quote-unquote good as I am, I cannot make more. If I were to truly animate all this, 60 frames per second, I would go insane. And you would never see a movie ever again. <laughs> so, we're gonna keep it at our animatic style. It works. And then, using more effects will prevent things like needing to animate going through a thousand rooms. It'll prevent me from needing to do something, from needing to animate something as complex as going through a door. Because that's actually really complex to animate in a 2D space. When you don't have really enough skill to do an overhead shot. Or a side, you can only do profile and front forward. I don't know the name of that one. Portrait or profile. When you can only do portrait or profile. And what makes that so much easier is I can make the background separate and then screen them in. And then I only have to worry about animating Max. And just mainly save time. Save time in a way that will not detriment the quality of the product. FNAF has had that issue and FNAF has taken so long because I've animated everything one frame at a time. Every single frame has taken one point at a time. I've barely reused anything, and if I have, then it's just off in the background. I've had to do every single piece of lighting, and I've never reused anything. And, and I've tried limiting the amount of times I reuse things. And just otherwise simplify things that Otherwise, it would be very complex actions. Things that you would not want to see over and over and over and over and over again. Because it's just not worth it. And essentially, I'm working with as much of the crew, especially with Spookies here. I'm also going to extend this out to DDLC and definitely Bendy. FNAF, I think, is a little too far gone, but I am going to be working with as much of the crew as I can to make sure that these films are able to release somewhat after each other. I don't want to have to make you all wait a year 
between them. If it comes down to that, sure, but we've been working on FNAF for three years now. And three years between films is not enough. Especially if we get through all of them and are at Mani Lovania. Yes, I am still using that code name. I don't know if the rest of the crew is, but I am still using it. That's gonna be a major issue because, well, I have barely any content by then. If I've gotten everything out, then I'm gonna have to go have gone through all of the crew interviews, gone through all of the games. I will be out of content, which I don't want to leave y'all with nothing. So, mainly. I'm trying to save time in a way that will not make the quality worse. I'm trying to make these films at the same time. So I'll say that what will end up happening is they'll all take longer, but they'll all release in short enough succession. So it just comes down to... Would you rather have to wait two years between every film, or have them released a few months apart from each other but take longer to get there? The ending release date of the final film would be the same, it's just stretched out or scrunched together. And personally, I would prefer the scrunched together, even if it takes longer to get them to you. If you all don't agree with that, tell me. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm, but if you all personally don't like that, tell me and I'll put all of my focus back onto Freddy's and do everything for Freddy's. You may not get his varied memes, but if you all want me to do them one at a time, even if there's long gaps between, tell me. And I'll do that. I'll switch my focus and I'll give you all what you want. I can't promise that it will be out in a timely fashion, but I can promise that it will be out eventually. So rant over, but it's just a short video of, of how I'm trying to improve Spookies and trying to make all of these videos, all of these films as good as I possibly can, while also not making you wait a decade.